Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to gross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who joins us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's read is 1 Kings 5.12 through 6.13. And Yahweh gave Solomon wisdom, and he promised him, and there was peace between Hiram and Solomon. And the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon drafted forced labor out of all Israel. And the draft numbered 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon. Ten thousand a month in shifts. They would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh. Adoniram was in charge of drafts. Solomon also had 70,000 burden bearers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's 3,000 chief officers who were over the work, who had charge of the people who carried on the work. At the king's command, they quarried out great, costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and all the men of Gubul did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. <clears throat> in the 480th year after the people of Israel came out of the land of Egypt in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv, which is the second month, he began to build the house of Yahweh. The house that King Solomon built for Yahweh was 60 cubits long, 20 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. The vestibule in front of the nave of the house was 20 cubits long, equal to the width of the house, and 10 cubits deep <coughs> in front of the house. And he made for the house windows with recessed frames. He also built a structure against the wall of the house, running around the walls of the house, both the nave and the inner sanctuary. And he made side chambers all around. The lowest story was 5 cubits broad, and the middle one was 6 cubits broad, and the third was 7 cubits broad. <coughs> For around the outside of the house, he made offsets in the wall in order that the supporting beams should not be inserted into the walls of the house. When the house was built, it was with stone prepared at the quarry, so that neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron was heard in the house while it was being built. The entrance for the lowest story was on the south side of the house, and one went up by stairs to the middle story, and from the middle story to the third. So he built the house and finished it, and he made the ceiling of the house of beams and planks of cedar. He built the structure against the whole house, five cubits high, and it was joined to the house with timbers of cedar. <clears throat> now the word of Yahweh came to Solomon concerning this house that you are building. If you will walk in my statutes and obey my rules and keep my commandments and walk in them, then I will establish my word with you when I spoke to David your father. And I'll dwell among the children of Israel and will not forsake my people Israel. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Brukata Adonai Elohim, Malak Alom, Ashur Natal Anu Torah, Met Vaishi Elom, Natabat Ekinu, Brukata Adonai, Nitin Atorah. 